Good morning! <laughs> Good morning! We are at Disney World! Disney World! Very excited. <laughs> Today is going to be our first day in the parks. I am so excited. I am very excited. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> We got in last night. We're staying here at the Contemporary Resort. Yeah, which uh, we should show our view. We should. <laughs> we have a park view room here, so we see Space Mountain, we see the castle. It was pretty spectacular watching the fireworks from here last night. And then another benefit of this resort is the monorail comes right through the lobby. So we're actually gonna head downstairs now, hop on, and uh, head to Magic Kingdom. Yeah. You ready? And we're also close enough where we could just walk. Yeah, that's so true. We have options. We'll see, we'll, we'll uh, feel it out. Are you ready? Ready for Disney World? <laughs> oh yeah? Are you excited? <laughs> Who's on your shirt? Our first ride, Little Mermaid, five minutes. Yeah, that's where we're going. We're gonna go inside her castle. All right, where to next, Steven? Dumbo for the lightning lane. We got a lightning lane. Woo! <laughs> Thank you. Woo! I just bought when I got my water. Grace is gonna dig it. <laughs> so Steven didn't go on Dumbo because he doesn't really do spinny rides and we just got off and this is what I see. What did you buy? <laughs> I found a little something next to the water. And a fire hat. You want to wear it? You want to be a doggy? <laughs> so I love the hat but one problem, she was like, oh look over there. I'm like, and I'm like it keeps hitting me in the eyes. It's like, oh boom, oh boom. So it is quite hot and humid here at Disney World, but we're staying cool, we've got lots of water, we've brought fans, and we just got an orange swirl, which if I recall correctly, is pretty similar to Dole Whip. Mm. Mm -hmm. Would you like to try some? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, me. All right, so we are gonna enjoy our orange swirl here, and then we're about to head over to Pirates right now. We have a lightning lane that's good for like another 15 minutes, so we'll do that, and then we might have time for one more ride. Depending on how long it takes, we might have to head over to the Be Our Guest restaurant, where we have reservations for a brunch there, which I'm very excited about. We ate there when Steven and I came here, just the two of us, let's see, what was that, three years ago now? And it was really, really cool, and I think going back with Grace is just gonna be extra special. All right, hair is up in a scrunchie. I kept it down for almost two hours, honestly better than I expected in this like muggy Florida humid heat. I prefer having my hair down for like aesthetics, but definitely more comfortable up. So that is what we're going with for the rest of the day here. All right, we are checking in for our Be Our Guest lunch. So this is the view from our table. We just got seated and it is just so gorgeous in here. It's so pretty in here, huh? So pretty, yay! They just brought out the desserts. Our lunch was amazing. And look at these little pastries and then in the middle, the gray stuff. <laughs> Did you try the gray stuff? It's delicious. So we're packing stuff up here. We just paid the check. We're trying to get to our lightning lane for Peter Pan. That ends in like six minutes. So we gotta get going. And then uh, I think we're gonna try to get Grace to nap in the stroller after. It's a little past her nap time. I, I, I think it'll be pretty easy. We made it. <laughs> hey. 
and she is out. So Grace is napping. So we've just been hanging out in various air conditioned stores and like quick service eating areas, which honestly has been a really nice break. I feel like when we came here before, before we had Grace, we kind of felt like we needed to like go, 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 do all the things. So her napping honestly is kind of a nice change of pace. <laughs> Anyways, we're in the store over in the Dumbo area and they have a whole slew of different flavored like frozen icy things. <laughs> and with how hot it is right now, there is absolutely nothing that looks better. <laughs> I'm totally getting one. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I think I'm just gonna go with a good old classic lemonade. Awesome. Thank you so much. Steven got another uh, kind of frozen drink. What is it? It's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> you can have some of mine. It's lemonade. Okay, dangerous part of walking through these gift shops though. We just found this kiosk that has customizable Disney Apple Watch bands. And now I think after some deliberation, we're both getting one. <laughs> Steven wants the R2-D2 one. And I'm deciding between the Little Mermaid one and this Oh, Mickey magic one. I guess I took too long to decide. I'm kind of torn, but I think I'm gonna go with the Mickey. Bonus points because I know it's gonna make Grace excited when she sees it. <laughs> oh, I can add my name. Yes, please. Mm, is that lame? <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm going no name. <laughs> now black or white? Ooh. All right, Grace is awake. Do you want to see the bag? There's Mickey and Minnie. Mickey Mouse. And Mama and dada and the floor <laughs> i did in fact uh also spring for the reusable tote beautiful beautiful and commemorative we also got our watch bands here is mine i'm really glad i went with the black i really like the look of this now we're gonna swap it out Ta-da! it's mickey look at that little r2d2 <laughs> all right back to some rides <laughs> Okay, Grace, should we turn the bubbles on? Okay, bring it over here, I'll do it. <laughs> Did you wake up from your nap just in the best mood ever? You see Dumbo? So there is one ride here at Magic Kingdom that Grace is too small to ride, but Steven and I really wanna do, so we're gonna do child swap. And that ride is the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. So we got a lightning lane for it. We're gonna take turns and then hit up Haunted Mansion after that. So we are gonna run around while Steven rides the ride and then we'll swap. <laughs> we just made the swap. It is now my turn thank you also nothing makes me happier than seeing my shadow with mickey ears <laughs> So the park is closing early tonight for like regular tickets because they're doing a special Halloween event and we tried to get tickets for it but unfortunately they were all sold out so for us the park is closing at 6 p.m and it is 5 40 right now so we're gonna try and do one more ride we have a lightning lane for it's a small world that is good in five minutes so we're gonna make our way over there and that'll probably be the the end of Disney for the day and we're in the very front row is that the sticker the cast member gave you Alrighty, hello. It is 8.35 p.m. We are back in the room. I actually just hopped out of the shower, which was glorious. <laughs> Something about a post-Disney shower just hits different. I gave Grace a bath too, and now she and Steven are hanging out, playing with the bubble wand. We don't do the actual bubbles indoors, but it still like lights up and plays music. And she's surprisingly pretty understanding about like not being able to turn on the bubbles inside. Wasn't really sure if she would like grasp that concept. But luckily it hasn't been a problem so far, so. So Disney uh, closed early today at 6 p.m. for 
the uh, special Halloween event. And at first I was like, oh, what a bummer. Like we totally could have stayed later with Grace. She still had a ton of energy, but honestly it worked out pretty well. So we didn't get off It's a Small World until like 6.30. And then we did a little bit of souvenir shopping after, which I'll, I'll show you what we got after this. And then we went and had dinner. So we didn't even end up getting back to the room till like eight anyways. And again, like with being here with Grace kind of making us slow down a little bit throughout the day, being forced to have an earlier night honestly has some benefits too. Like tomorrow is gonna be our long, long day because Epcot has special hours in the evening for the hotel guests. So grace permitting, we're gonna try and stay there till like 10 or 11 p.m. So getting back here kind of early, having like a normal bedtime routine for grace, I think worked out pretty well. And we did so much today. I was really pleasantly surprised. I feel like because we've used the Genie Plus system before at Disneyland, we knew pretty well how to like make the most of it. And I think we only actually waited in like one or two standby lines and everything else was lightning lane so we either like walked right on or had like max maybe a five ten minute wait which especially with having a toddler not having to wait in a lot of lines was like such a game changer and the genie plus system is i think an extra 15 dollars per ticket which all those little things definitely add up but i i would say from our experience definitely worth it we did so many rides and it never really felt like we were rushing or waiting a lot there were a couple things that i wanted to do with grace that we didn't fit in today, mainly Jungle Cruise and the People Mover and the Carousel of Progress. I like weirdly love that ride show experience. But uh, Grace and I are actually gonna have a second day at Magic Kingdom on Thursday, today's Sunday. So those are gonna be top of our list, but today was Steven's only day at Magic Kingdom. Tomorrow we're doing Epcot all together and then Steven's conference starts, which is the whole reason that we came out to Orlando. He's actually here on a work trip. He, his company was sending him to this thing in Orlando. And when we saw that it was being hosted in the city of Mickey Mouse himself, the wheels started turning and we were like, maybe we go a little bit early maybe we go to Disney for a few days. So we came out here a couple days early and actually a few of Steven's colleagues did too. And a few of them are doing Epcot tomorrow. So I think we're gonna meet up with them there too. Did I say we're going to Epcot tomorrow? We're, we're going to Epcot tomorrow. Um, but anyways, yeah. So tomorrow, Epcot. The next day, Steven's conference starts and then Grace and I are going to Animal Kingdom that day. And that's when we're gonna be moving to the conference hotel that Steven's company's putting him up in, which was another reason that we were like, okay, let's spring for the, the park view room here at the contemporary because we're only here for three nights and then the other three nights were at the conference hotel how long have i been talking can i take these off yet three to five minutes that seems good um but then after animal kingdom grace and i are gonna do kind of a, a reset day just hanging around the resort the conference resort that is we're not gonna go into the parks that day steven will be at his conference all day and then thursday is when grace and i are gonna end off the trip with another day at magic kingdom i love experiencing all things disney with steven so we're definitely gonna miss him on our other two park days, but I think Grace and I are still gonna have a lot of fun. All right, anyways, uh, let's go out there. We'll do a little mini haul. I only bought two things, but I'm very excited to show you. <laughs> when we're at Disney World, even the pajama shirts are Mickey Mouse. <laughs> but all right, let me show you what I got. Yeah, this is the cup. Yeah. Do you like my cup? <laughs> so I bought the Disney World and Starbucks collaboration cup. Have you ever seen anything that's more Sierra? <laughs> you guys know I love my Starbucks cups and I had actually seen, a, well, this is an embarrassing sentence. I had actually seen a lot about these cups on the Starbucks cup hunters Facebook groups that I'm in. <laughs> Do you want to hold it? And I was very excited. Please be careful. That's very special to mama. <laughs> Do you like it? Mm. Um, but I was really excited when I saw it there, so we got that. And then while I was checking out with that, Steven picked out this little shirt for Grace. This super cute little like foil holographic Disney World tank top. It's got Mickey on it and all these little different icons from all four parks. And I just thought this was so cute. And I, I love when Steven picks out clothes for Grace. I think it's so sweet. So that is what we bought at the end of the day. We also got earlier those Apple Watch bands. Steven's hat. Anything else? Oh, the reusable bag. Super happy with all of our purchases. I feel like they're all pretty practical, but you know, still fun souvenirs. And it was just a really awesome day at Magic Kingdom. Grace can now check uh, one of four Disney World parks off the list. Even though we're doing four days in the parks, I opted to do a second day at Magic Kingdom with her instead of going to Hollywood Studios since that one definitely skews a little bit older with the rides. And there's just so much for her to do at Magic Kingdom. I knew we could easily fill two days there. So yeah, we are gonna go ahead and get Grace down for bed. There is a fireworks show at, what time is it, hun? 10.30? 
1015. 1015 tonight. Exactly. We contemplated keeping Grace awake for it because we kept her awake for the one last night. That one was at nine o'clock though. We watched it from our balcony that had an amazing view and she loved it. We, we thought she might be scared, but I think we were far enough away that it was just cool and exciting for her. I'll insert a clip here from last night because it was, it was really special. So many. Boom, boom. Do you like the fireworks? I like them. Yay! It's all done. It's all done. Um, but yeah, we decided not to keep her up tonight since we're gonna have that long day at Epcot tomorrow, and we can watch fireworks at Epcot. Does that sound good? Do you want your tank top? Yeah. Do you want to hold this? Yeah. Here you go. You can take. Do you want to come up? Okay, you can come. All right, well, that is gonna be it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you very soon with our Epcot vlog from tomorrow. Bye! Bye! <laughs>